All right, guys, got base camp set up. And now I got a few hours before dark, so I'm gonna wander around and do some photography, take you guys along. Um, and then I gotta come back before dark and make some dinner. And then uh, hopefully the weather will hold. There's just a heavy, heavy thunder shower that moved through this area about 15 minutes ago. Um, we'll see if I get hit with any more of those. All right. Well, I didn't have to walk far to get a composition. I had to get a mandatory camp shot with some dark looming clouds behind. Um, I made sure I leveled off my tripod to make sure that all the trees in the background are straight up and down. Make post-processing that much easier. I'm shooting in F16 for a 30th of a second at ISO 200. And there's sun breaking out in the trees randomly. Um, I'm not so much wanting to capture sun as much as those dark looming clouds, but having the foreground lit up by a little bit of sunlight gives it lots of depth. Well, so far everything's going to plan. Um, it hasn't even rained that hard yet, but I can see every direction there's a cell of heavy rain. So I'm sure it's only a matter of time. My plan is to walk the river and try to find a composition for some photography in between the heavy rain. So we'll see how it goes. I made it to the river and I think I, this will be a good place to cross to the other side. Um, even though we're in the wet season here in the Pacific Northwest, most of the rivers are in drought conditions still so they can easily be crossed. I think that'll probably be just below my kneecap there. Just walking the river looking for a composition and I came across this alder grove and I'm a sucker for alders so I'm going to sit here and wait for the rain to back off a little bit so I can pull out my real camera and see if I can capture an image here. Alright, the rain backed off. I've got my little composition worked out here. I'm at F11 with an eighth of a second at ISO 200. And to simplify the composition, I put it into portrait mode and then I zoomed in a little bit with my uh, lens to uh, remove a lot of the distractions. So I hope that you guys enjoy the photo. Looks like I have a second to take it before that moves towards me. I didn't have to go very far to get another picture of the alder. Um, I got it simplified down in the composition to remove most of the distractions and not blow out the highlights. I need to hurry up because there's major rain heading my way um, and I got to put my camera away. But my camera settings are um, eighth of a second F11 ISO 200. And I hope you guys enjoy this one too. I might take a photo over here if I can manage a composition and try to get some of those storm clouds with the valley. It's pretty beautiful being out here. Here's a really interesting spot in the river. The river comes down over by those alders and then towards me over this log jam and then around. And there's a big deep pole right here. And I wish I would have brought my fishing pole, but I'll have to come back next time with it, I guess. And then it goes up, around, and back towards those storm clouds, out to the ocean. All right, I decided on this composition here, because I love those clouds in the background there, moving through, and the highlights from the sun peeking through. It's really nice. I might even make it a black and white, we'll see. Um, ISO 200, 30th of a second, at F16. And then there's my composition moving through. Hope you guys enjoy this photo. We'll see how this weather holds out. I'm loving these clouds. Awesome. Sitting here trying to make a composition work, but 
couldn't quite make anything that I was pleased with. I'm a sucker for alders, but there's got to be there's got to be quite a bit of uniformity um, in order to make it work the way I like. But I think I'm gonna ford the river and go take a peek over in that plush forest over there and see if I can make something. I'm over here in this alder grove, but I think it's one of those places that you gotta come in winter so all the undergrowth is dead. Right now it's pretty brushy up about to my chest. Um, so I'll have to save this for another time. I'll have to get back out to the river. All right, turning around and heading back to camp soon so I have enough time to make my dinner. But I thought I'd get a quick composition. I should also mention earlier that I'm using a circular polarizer on the lens, but uh, still getting a lot of glare off the water because of all the highlights in the sky. But for this shot, ISO 200, 15th of a second, uh, F16. And then I'm trying to get that light over there on the hillside with a little bit of the river in the foreground and some of those awesome clouds. start walking back to my camp which is down that way towards all the sun walking back to the camp getting some incredible light we'll see if I can get any more compositions uh, around sunset looks like I just missed a small herd of elk these tracks were not here when I came through the first time earlier. You can see they went that way. And then they crossed the river and they're somewhere yonder, perhaps behind those alders there. The slide is just crazy right now. You got some beams that fade in and out to the west. Turn around. There was just a second ago a rainbow that was going in and out right there, and then back to the southeast. You see some awesome clouds. Had those mountains socked in right back there. I probably should have up my camera, but I have to find an interesting foreground. I'm glad I could share this with you guys. You can see some sweet beams. Look at that. Across the river again, I'm trying to find a composition near camp with all this good light. So I need to hunt around and see what I can find here. So I'm sitting here by the river in the same spot after I just crossed. And the light's changing so rapidly, I'm just shooting every direction almost. So I'll put those pictures up. Well, it would seem that I made it back to camp just in time. Um, pretty much as soon as I start walking up to the tent, heavy rain started falling. So I was going sweet. I'm glad I already have camp set up and then uh, I don't have to put up a tent in the rain. I can just retreat inside and be warm and dry. I'm hoping this passes through in a bit and then I can get a few more pictures, but we'll see. If not, it's already been an incredible day for light um, when it comes to photography. Um, I couldn't ask for more. It's more than I actually expected. So we'll see how the rest of the trip goes. I need to come out here and shoot camp again. Now that the light's changing back and forth so rapidly, you get the camera set up here, and then the sun's coming and going, lighting up the foreground, and then you have this really nice dark clouds back there looming. I have never seen light change so many times standing in one place, I don't think. This has to be a new record. Definitely getting my money's worth. Out of my camera. Alright, now that the weather's turned, perfect time to make some dinner. 
of about an hour before dark. And the dinner might take an hour or less. I don't know, I've never made it before. So let's put that together right now. All right, let's bring you up to speed what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna do a dry baking, uh, try to make some sweet potato fries or just some sweet potato casserole or, or whatever you wanna call it. Um, all I did is oiled the crap out of that pan that the sweet potatoes are in and then put salt and pepper and then more oil in with it. And then now I'm gonna put it inside the pot on really low temperature and let it dry bake. I'll check it after a half hour, but it probably will take towards an hour, we'll see. Sun's going down here at camp. Got about 20 minutes left till dinner's ready. I'm sure hungry. It's been about 40 minutes, so we'll see what's going on here. You can see it's pretty much steamed, these suckers. And I would say they're as done as they're going to be. So I'm going to shut this off and let it cool down and eat. All right, this cooled off long enough. Let's give it a try before it gets dark. I like to see my food before I eat. Mmm. That actually beats any flipping mountain house on the planet. Fresh food and it's nice and hot too. Take the chill right off the bones. Well, I'm going to shove this down read and then fall asleep because it's going to get dark in about five minutes. So you guys have a good night.